welcome to today's Inspire Young Latina video podcast series. With the book launch coming up on December 12th, we have created this platform for you to get to know the authors in a more personal level and also to inspire other young Latinas to share their story and to lift up their voice. At the same time, with this platform, we would like to set an example for the upcoming generations. We need to empower them and remind them that they are more capable than they think. And today I'm with my friend Alondra Ivet Guevara. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Qué tú? bueno. Muy bien. También gracias. Muchísimas gracias por haber aceptado estar aquí con nosotras, pues para compartir tu historia y todo. Sí, sí, of course. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so um, I grew up in Chicago. Okay. Um, and I, you know, I grew up in a huge city, and then I wanted to get away from college, so I went to Marquette, um, mm -hmm. and ended up. Um, studying abroad in Europe for some time and ended up graduating from the University of Michigan with a bachelor's. Um, so I, you know, I've been kind of traveling a lot and, you know, meeting all diverse communities. So it really got me interested in um, international communications and, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm a Latina from Chicago. So it's, it's kind of nice. It's a bigger city. Yes. And it's, um, and you know, I'm very proud of where I come from. And I'm really glad that I'm here to be able to share that story with everyone else here. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And we know that um, Today's Inspire Young Latina came about because of Young Latina Talks. So yes. we wanted to know how do you find out about Young Latina Talks and what inspired you to be like involved in that movement? Yeah, so um, it's actually interesting. My dad, he oh, networked really? for me. That's how you know Ooh. networking is something um, that I really believe in. Yes, uh, definitely. You know, it's, I'm an easy person to approach. Uh, and my father, um, he, you know, he came from Mexico uh -huh. and started a company. Didn't know Eng didn't know how to speak a word in Whoa. English, like many of us uh, can relate. Yes, of course. And you know, it was nice because he was able to connect with one of the authors Ooh. on the book. Um, okay. Her name is Janet. She's in awesome. one of the volumes. Um, she's amazing, and we connected. You know, I can I reached out to her from reading the book, never met this woman, wow. and I was reading it, and I just started crying, and oh the God. stories um, build up, but my father was actually how I got, um, wow. you know, involved and found out about the Inspired, uh, inspired Latinas. Yes, of course, mm -hmm. and that's amazing. I think this movement, that's what it's for. It's to, like, Um, make power with the stories but also to connect other ones yeah. like to connect people that you can relate to or that you want to know how do you do that like yeah. <laughs> you went through so much and now you're here I want to learn you know I want to yeah. learn from you so I think that's the power of this movement and I appreciate it a lot yeah. and how beneficial was for you to find this platform to lift off your voice um, so to lift off my voice uh, really is just to you know Um, I found it as a way to kind of reach out to other women just like us. Other girls were going through the same thing, not just us, but, you know, people who can relate to the fact that our parents, you know, came here and where our roots came from, learning a new language, how to, you know, be competitive in this, you know, corporate America, yes. how to stand out, especially women. Mm -hmm. um, not only are we Latinas and minorities or um, immigrants from other countries, but, you know, we're women. Of and course. women are going through this all the time. Uh, but now Latinas have a way where we can connect with other Latinas mm -hmm. who are just like us. And I was talking about this the other day with a friend. It's like it's not the same when you find another person with your background who understands you and then you find a society a group and you're like oh my god I belong here I'm not yeah. the only one uh -huh. you're usually the sore thumb standing out you're usually the only one who has roots that are not unique different and mm -hmm. it's very cool that you know we all have that connection with each other so yeah that's great um, and what does it mean to you to be a young Latina Um, it me now it feels like the most significant. It feels like my signature. Everywhere I go, I've of always course. been proud of my roots. I love to go to Mexico. My parents used to take us out there all the time because they never wanted us to forget where of we course, came from. Of course, of course. Um, and I appreciate my parents for that because they took pride in where they came from. And you know, even though they like I talk in the book how they had a degree back home, but still seeked for mm -hmm. more, seeked for a future, seeked for something beyond what they believe in and you know now we have the opportunity to see where they came from it really humbles you it appre you appreciate yeah. everything 
Um, so definitely, it now it has like a signature, and this book is even, you know, it yeah. has made it like even more inspiring to yourself. You of know? course, yeah, definitely. And well, congratulations for everything you're mm -hmm. doing, and also because in a few days you're gonna become a published Latina author. Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you ever think uh, that you were going to become an author one day? No, I mean, I it was a dream. I'm not gonna lie, it was a dream. As soon as uh, high like college um, came around, and it was my last year, I graduated in April, and I I'm like, I want to write a book. I want to tell people yeah, what I've been through, and you know, I I'm gonna write it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I kept telling people I'm gonna write a book, yes. and they kept telling me you should, and then you know, all of this happens, and I'm like, wow. Like, the, power, the power of manifestation. Yes, and connecting. I'm of like, course, wow, this course. is incredible. I, you know, in 2019, I wasn't even expecting that. So it's really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. in 2018, because we are in 19. So I thought, yeah, yeah like, I thought, no, no, you're fine. 19, so, I mean, <laughs> it's like, going by so quick that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going by so quick that I'm just like, okay. Too much happening. <laughs> Too much is happening. And a lot of great things are happening. Of so course. it's nice. Yeah, definitely. And what does it mean to you? Um, to be able to have your story written down on a book. Like now you can um, see it actually physically there. <laughs> it means a lot. It's actually more deeper than what I expected it to feel like. It feels like almost like a dream come of true, course. something that's um, unreal. And, you know, what I talk about a lot in also in the book, Inspire Latinas, is sacrifices. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's one thing we're going to face in life is just like, you know, going through sacrifices in order to get where we want to be. And sometimes, like they say, the person who gives a lot will receive a lot. Mm -hmm. Those who sacrifice the most will achieve yeah. the most. Those who only sacrifice a little bit will only sacrifice as much as they, you know, mm -hmm actually you know fight for it um so i think that really um it just it, it's a great and i i hope to pursue more um as well so this is just the beginning yeah because it just has been like a 20 year old gap you yeah. know in your life we have a future ahead so i can imagine that we're gonna want to like in the future also tell our story of and course because there's more, gonna be you know, more yeah. that it's gonna be added up that's the power of storytelling too, because through it you can inspire others and you can yeah. provide the representation that a, that a person needs. You know, yeah. it's always good to know that there's people like you accomplishing great things because you can see yourself. On yeah, it. and yeah. I actually on Facebook because you know we've been posting the Inspire mm -hmm. Latinas. I have other women like emailing me, people oh, wow. emailing me for my sorority. I'm wow. on Alpha Z Delta, and at Market they're like, hey. How did this happen? Uh -huh. Tell me about this book. Can we set up a phone call? Can we get coffee? Wow. And I'm like, oh my God, this, <laughs> yeah, of course. You yeah, know? people want to know because it's an amazing movement and obviously mm -hmm. other women want to be part of this inspired movement because we need to start off lifting each other instead mm -hmm. of bringing people down because that's what this society wants to do. They would just want to like hate on others and, yes. and it's better to just be united and Lift want the best up. for everybody. Exactly, yeah. yes. So mm -hmm. um, share with us some of your future goals and how do you plan to make them happen? So some of my future goals is I did graduate my bachelor's and I'm really glad um, yes. this got that out of the way. And I'm also going to be leaving to Panama, wow. uh, Panama, um, and I'm going to be an English teacher. That's so amazing. Yeah, and I'm going to be going through the Peace Corps. I live, I leave in February, um, so I'm going to be serving for two years. Wow. So as soon as I get back, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pursue my master's. Um, wow. I don't know where yet, and I'm still kind of trying to figure thinking out. Thinking about it. <laughs> thinking about what I want to do exactly, and then, you know, write and get into blogging as well Ooh. while I'm there. There. Yeah. Yes. And, um, you know, keep reading, writing, learning, um, giving my time to others, you know, in need. And I feel like it's a great way to step back from life and say, oh, hey, I need to think see. about it because people are like work, work, work. And you want to just right after college, it's like a job and mm -hmm. this. Um, and I feel like you know, this is the time to, to think. This is the time to you know, find I, yourself. To find yourself, exactly. To travel, to meet other people. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I definitely want to, I'm going to be out for two years, wow. you know, so uh, I definitely want to pursue more after that. But I always tell people, you know, this is your life. Mm -hmm. You only have one. Um, so do what you like, and we have work for the rest of our lives, exactly. you know, so enjoy it. 
And so I'm kind of trying to find myself. Especially when you're young, right? And oh, because yeah. you're going to be doing an amazing thing, which is serve others. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you're going to go to Panama and you're going to be a teacher, which is going to inspire even more people for the future, you know? Yeah, so you're going to teach English. And it's That's like, amazing. you know, opening these, doors of opportunities exactly, for others. Exactly. Who want to come to this, you know, this country and do exactly what our parents were trying to do. Oh, so, that's so nice. Yeah, it's well, a, good luck and tell us how it you. is. Well, if you're going to be blogging, I'm going to be looking because yeah. that's super interesting. It's gonna. I'm going to have the time to do yes. it, so I definitely want to um, pursue do that it. too. Do it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Alondra, for being yes. with us today and for sharing this experience with us. Mm-hmm. Before we end, what consejo or what advice would you give other Latinas, other young Latinas? Um, You know, keep yourself together. Um, Like I say, you know, in the book, um, getting up is easy, but, you know, holding yourself together when everything around you is falling apart is true strength. You you know, you're going to have to take sacrifices, and, you know, college kids do it every day. Um, People who, you know, don't have something to eat or people who are trying to live paycheck to paycheck do it every day, and those are those little sacrifices that help us achieve bigger things. So don't be afraid when you're thinking about your dreams what the consequences are going to be because there's always consequences. Um, So it's okay to say, hey, I might not have a lot right now, but at least I will have something in the future. The situation is not permanent. There's Mm -hmm. always going to be change, and if you are positive, you'll definitely make it work Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you're so inspiring. I just can't wait to read your chapter because we haven't read each other's stories. So. I haven't, yes, yes, I haven't. I'm like, oh so my cool. God. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much. We see you on the next episode and make sure you get your book. You can get it from Amazon, Today's Inspire Young Latina. And if you want to learn more about the movement, you can definitely look it up by todaysinspire.com slash young. Thank you so much. My name is Samantha Ante and I'll see you next time. Bye.